welcome back to another episode of the E9 Restoration Build. Sorry for the long, long hiatus. I've been busy with an amazing opportunity working with Tesla on some of their global videos. If you want to check them out, you can go to teslamotors.com right there. Um, so yeah, that occupied my time a lot, but now back to the E9. I've been waiting on some news to share with all of you, and it is that I found a parted out E9. Pretty much a perfect interior, a ton of uh, extra parts, um, a full shell that I'm getting off of the 2800 and some sheet mountain. So we're in Toronto again with a U-Haul and picking up a ton of parts. It's like a lot of really good stuff. So I uh, got really lucky. So uh, yeah, now we're just packing things up and we're gonna let the adventure begin again. So I finally picked up this E9 this week, which I thought would be an easier task, but obviously I always underestimate everything. And it took two days and almost took three. So I went down first to get a, a lot of the interior parts down in Toronto, and uh, that filled up a truck. And I thought I was gonna pick up the shell that day, didn't happen. We ended up having to drive an hour and a half north of Waterloo to grab the shell which almost didn't work because the wheels were too narrow for the uh, trailer. Luckily, the guy had a forklift and literally put it onto the bed. After that, uh, I got food poisoning, which is why this isn't being released on a Thursday, because I was out of commission for three days. So yeah, it was a mission to get every single part. If you remember on my car, one of the things that was pretty rotted out was the nose. And to buy one of these noses is insanely expensive. It's like 3000 bucks or something, which is a stupid amount to spend. So one of the things that attracted me to this car was that at one point this nose was replaced. And you can tell because after the last owner cut off these panels, it's not the same point where this one was welded beforehand. So. My plan is to cut this whole front off, stick it onto mine, which saves a ton of money and is also way easier than trying to do a bunch of patchwork. Obviously there's a lot of wrong with this car and there's some sketchy stuff with this one, with, which is what I'm realizing with pretty much every E9. Apart from what you saw with the shell, there was a ton of other goodies that I got. Uh, the nose obviously from the E9 was a big thing but there's also a ton of sheet metal that is currently at Suraj's. This stuff is prohibitively expensive, so uh, I got lucky buying it off of somebody that um, just didn't have time for it anymore. I got a ton of amazing chrome as well from the 2800, which I'm going to be able to use on my car. What I didn't realize is that my car really wasn't a complete car. There was a lot missing. The interior was missing, there was a ton of chrome missing actually inside, there's a ton of shit just missing in general. Uh, so I got a lot of that. Pretty much everything that I need to complete the car, I've got now. One of the coolest things though is that I got a perfect condition black interior, which is just like, I couldn't have asked for something cooler. Like the, all the seats are, like I haven't unwrapped it all. It's all in saran wrap, which thank you to the last owner because it literally kept them in such good shape. These door skins like, with a bit of cleaning up, there's obviously a little bit of nicks and stuff like that, but better than my no interior. So one of the huge benefits to my new place is the indoor workshop, which is awesome because obviously, well, Canada, we've got um, a couple months that are pretty much unusable outside. So when it gets too cold to work on the bodywork on the car, 
I can be in here working on little bits and pieces, just like, for example, this perfect dash that I got off of the uh, off the donor car. Just to give you a comparison of what I was working with before, this was my original. This is what I have now. There's no way that I'll be able to show you all the parts that I got from the donor car. But again, this is just to give you a quick hi. We'll be back next Thursday. Thank you guys so much for sticking with this. Um, I was blown away how many people are still messaging me, but like, where's videos and everything? And I'm like, yeah, soon, I promise. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's back on now, so, um, and I will be back every Thursday with some new stuff. So stay tuned. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and uh, lots to come. Excited. See you later.